release the fingers, put them behind your head. Keep the right leg up, lower your left leg. And this time curl up and twist. Reach your left elbow, turn your right thigh. And switch. Right leg down, left leg up and twist. And switch. And switch. And then keep taking these on your own. Stay connected to your breath. Soft eyeballs, keep the breath in and out through your nose. And just, I don't know, treat this like you're a 15 year old high school boy and you own the world. You own this. You own this app workout. It's a piece of cake for you. So it's that mental approach to how you do it. Internally, everything may be burning and falling apart. But the external part, you're like, okay. Squeeze the pinky edge of your arms up and overhead. 
No worries if it's touching the ground, you're just reaching it towards that general area. And inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release your hands. Put your hands on your hips, put a little bend in your knees, hop your feet together. And come back to the front of the mat. Cross the right ankle above your left knee. Flex the foot. Find one point to gaze at out in front of you. Bend your standing legs, sink down into your hips. So stand up right there. Cross it over. Yes, over the knees up. Perfect. Keep the right foot flexed. Then start to fold your torso over your thighs. Reach your arms out in front of you like you're driving a car. Hold on to the wheel. Yeah, and if you want to like go down PCH, take some turns and stuff. Play around, see if you can handle a few quick, sharp right hand turns. Now stay this slow. Reach your arms back behind you. Now you're flying. You're tucking your wings in. You're swooping. You're extending. Good. And do your best to keep your balance. You're here. Swoop it all the way up. And press to stand. Inside it down. Good. That's it. Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale. Forward fold. Push out your side. Keep lunging into that front leg so it feels good. This allows you to breathe deeper. This kind of breaks through the build up throughout the day. I had a feeling you'd be doing this. I was going to teach you what I figured. <laughs> and then go back up warrior two. Reach the left hand to the outside of your front foot. Use that block or fingertips if you'd like to. Right arm reaches straight up into the air. Rotate the palm towards the front of the room and extend the side angle pose. So if your neck is tired, just look down. And you can still spin your torso open without compromising your neck. From the left hip in, press the left knee back. Yes, that's it. I know it burns a little more, but it's going to keep you happy a little bit. And then come back up in warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Parallel your feet, put your hands on your hips. Inhale, lift up through your quads, lift up into your heart. Exhale, forward fold, take your hands shoulder width apart onto the mat. Inhale, press into your palms, look forward. Exhale, walk your hands back, cross your knee to Padmasana A. And chaturanga arms, reach and place the crown of the head down onto the ground. <laughs> if the head doesn't touch the ground, you can slide a block underneath your head so you have something to push into. It's just kind of satisfying to have that contact. Some of you practice straddling up into headstand. If that's part of your practice, go ahead. Elbows in, shoulders up. If you're in headstand, straddle your legs, start to come back down. Take your time nice and slow. Elbows in. Yes. And feet all the way down onto the ground. Press into your hands. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, take your hands onto your hips. Bring low. And get low. So you're very focused on your driving, so you don't have time to notice that your hips are burning because you have to keep your eyes on the road. It's much more important that you don't crash. You're gonna endure a little bit of discomfort so you don't crash. So get deeper, get lower. So you can take some turns, turn on yourself. And then your arms back, tucking your wings, but stay low. Shoulders down away from your earlobes. One movement, sweep it down, up, stand up, and release the foot. Step your feet together. And look up at those hands, and release all the fingers except for the thumb and the index. Get a nice squeeze of your arms, then lean forward over your front thigh. Step up, warrior three. Flex that right foot. Extend through your heart. <laughs> Drive a little bit. There's a dance that happens when you're in warrior three. You're going to get a lot of work if you do the dance within the pose as well. 
So enjoy whatever your body's giving you right now. Two more. Keep your gaze on that one point. Keep the weight in your left heel. Start to bend your left knee. Drop onto the ball of that back foot so you lift back up into your crescent pose. And then bring the hands down to your heart, right angle to your left eye twist. Remember, drop that back knee down if you need a little kickstand for support. Wrap it if you did the wrap on the first side. Use the nose, relax your mouth. And then look down, hands to the mat. Step back, move through the outside of the face. Drop down to your knees, take rest, drop toes. <laughs> Bend your knees, grab the outsides of your feet. Keep the knees hip width apart if you have a pretty deep back, when you can close your legs all the way together. And then press your feet towards the back of the room and start pushing your legs start to peel your chest up. Really push your legs away from you. So much the arms straighten up. Yeah, good. Pushing them back. Not so much that it looks like you're going to have a hernia because that's a little bit too much. That's it. Now, can you pull your feet up just a little bit with your hands? Yes. Now spread your toes so you look nice. Good. And set it down. So These are the poses where you give yourself credit for the connection that you made in something that was not necessarily easy. And this is a nice moment to say thank you for all the things in my life that are not easy. Thank you for all the things in my life that are extremely challenging because they make me who I am. It makes me strong. It makes me compassionate. so you can have some things to, to lean towards and give you some support. And close your eyes once you get in. of what you're ready to bring into your life. Relax the upper back. This is a yin practice, and not only is it a yin practice, but we're extreme yin. 
so you know, like extreme sports, extreme skiing, extreme you know, bungee jumping, we have extreme yin. And what I mean by that is that we are diving into the deep end, where we are really going to hold the intention of what it means to do this practice. But even with extreme sports, it's not about, or at least for yoga, I feel it's not about pushing ourselves. It's about finding the softness, the sense of allowing, the sense of space, even among, amidst, within the intensity. Are you okay here? Uh-huh. Yeah, so keeping you in bed is really good. Is this too much for your hamstrings? Have you pulled your hamstrings? A little bit. Yeah, so it's important to keep the knees bent. And if you need to, you know, if you need some support, you can even have the blocks over your knees. And then I'd like you to really think about the bulk of the, you know, you can let your back be rounded. But the bulk of the stretch happening in your back and not in your hamstrings. Yeah. So remember that everyone is going to be in a slightly different shape. And it is important to be in a slightly different shape. The back of the leg and the front leg. And if you have hamstring injuries, if you feel this part of your body is overstretched, then you want to be very careful. And so you may even want to just keep the sole of the foot down Roll the inner thighs towards each other and keep the front knee bent. Otherwise, really get into the hamstrings, lift the toes of the front foot, inner thighs roll towards each other, shoulders away from your ears, drop your chin. And after our seven minute Hashimatanasana, this should feel easy.
the hips. If that creates pain, please back off and bend your knee again. Breathe deeply. Choose the option that actually helps to facilitate the creation of more space in your body, not the creation of more suffering. back to center, extend both legs out in front of you, and then rock your toes out and in, so you're rolling your hips, or your legs into your hip joint, and then take your arms up in the air, and just roll your wrists in circles, in other direction. Keep your hands in the air and bend one knee, bend the other knee, knees up towards the chest, feet up in the air, knees bent, and then just shake out your hands and your feet. Just so we've worked with moving a lot. Want to wiggle it out and then extend one leg, extend the other leg. Close your eyes. <sighs> 